Hi everyone, my name is Brandon with Brandon on Tech, and today we're going to talk about the Whoop 4.0 Fitness Tracker. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started, if you could take a second to like this video and subscribe, you'll be notified of new content. Thank you very much for your support, I really appreciate it. So let's talk a little bit about what I was looking for, and then we'll get into the specifics of the Whoop. You know, I'm an average fitness guy. I try and work out daily. Nothing too crazy. I'm definitely not this guy, uh, but that's pretty badass. I get on my bike and I use Zwift. I'm a big techie. I love looking at the data from my workouts, and I've got my Apple Watch I wear all day, but I don't like wearing it on my bike, and I'm also a Strava user. One thing I have not been doing is tracking sleep, and so that started a little journey to find a device that I can fill uh, with that gap. My Apple Watch can definitely do that, but um, I don't want to wear my watch to bed. So that's my background. If you're like me, hopefully this video will help you in finding a fitness tracker, whether it's an Apple Watch, a Whoop, uh, Aura, or something else. Okay, here we go. I've been using my Whoop for a little while now, and I just started posting on YouTube, so unfortunately I don't have a brand new unboxing video, but I did uh, want to show you what comes in the box here. So I've got the Whoop, uh, and we'll kind of do a little bit of an unboxing. When you open it up, you have your user guide, setup guide, um, those are both included, and then the band itself is here, the charging pack is here as well, which is really nice, and we'll talk about this. Um, and then there's also a cable here as well. This is a USB to USB-C, very short little cable that you've got available here. So uh, putting on the Whoop is very easy to do. Uh, we'll take this out here and just move this off to the side. So you uh, lift up on the whoop side, the, the metal part of this. Lift that up. There'll be a sticker underneath that you'll remove. And then the whoop sits on your wrist um, right about here. So you've got a little bit of a gap there uh, between your wrist, they say, uh, to, to have a little bit of a gap here as, as well. Uh, it should fit fairly snug. If I open it up, the adjustment's very easy. Uh, you just adjust the band here. This is the uh, band that it comes with. And then there's also a hydro knit band that I was actually using with this uh, that is way more waterproof in my opinion. It still gets wet, but it dries really fast. And then to charge this, you use the charging pack that has the USB cable uh, plug connector on it. And you just slide this over your whoop. And then you can go about your day with the Whoop on, and you never have to take it off because you can charge it right from here. So it's really easy to charge, and then you just pop it off when you get a notification that uh, it's fully charged. So that's a really nice feature of the Whoop. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you was the difference in the bands. And the one on the left is the Hydronet, and the one on the right is the Supernet. And there is a difference in these two bands, mainly the way they dry. So the one on the left is the Hydro Knit, and it's designed to almost have this quick dry feel to it. Um, I prefer this band much better than the Super Knit, the one that comes with it. And I actually wish they would have just included the Hydro Knit band with the Whoop instead of the one that it comes with. Although the um, Super Knit bands have way more color options available, um, so you can get a bunch of different colors where there's maybe, I think, like five or six colors available in the Hydro Knit. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the software in the Whoop. So I've got my app open right now. Um, some things to note here at the top. You've got battery life at the top right. If I tap on that, I'll get to device settings. This is also where you can broadcast your heart rate. So this is a really nice feature. 
um, I can turn this on and off. And if I turn it on, it allows me to connect to Zwift. So I can use my Whoop as my heart rate monitor in Zwift, which is a really nice feature uh, that you have available. You can swipe left or right to get to advanced. Um, it shows your device ID, firmware. You can unpair, check firmware, reboot. You can see the last sync that you've got at the top right. So that's uh, all well and good. At the top left, you can get to your profile. You do have the, um, they do have this feature where you have different levels. So I'm at a level six right now with 30 recoveries. If I tap on that, I'll see um, different levels that you have, similar to an Apple Watch, where you have your different fitness levels that you have access to there. Um, and then you can see your day streak, uh, how long you've been a member. Again, Whoop is subscription-based, so you do have a membership along with it. And then you've got stats here that will show your walking, cycling, other activities. If I scroll down, um, you have your sleep performance and, and all of that, uh, your typical heart rate and your heart rate uh, variation range as well. Okay, so I'm going to close uh, this up here. And uh, let's look at the main page that you have when you're looking at the app. So in the main app, you have a graphic that'll show you your recovery and then the strain you have. So the way Whoop works is it'll measure your sleep and it'll give you a percentage of recovery. And then it, based off of that, you can see what your strain for the day is. So the idea is if you have got a low recovery, then you want to maybe take it a little easy on your strain. Uh, here I've got a 39% recovery. Um, which I think was a little weird. It was a little off there. Um, but it gave me, I think, the recovery or the strain for the day was like a 10. And I, I did like a 12.9. Um, so if we jump at the top, which is a nice um, feature as well. If I'm looking at different dates, I can go left or right to get to the different date ranges. Or I can tap on the date and then I'll get a month view and I can jump over to um, a different view and see my data for that date. Here, a 77% recovery and a 12.8 strain. Um, and then you'll see your activities listed below. You can jump into any of those activities. Uh, this is a nice feature I like. I can see uh, at a glance my zone ranges and how much time I've spent in that zone. So this was a Zwift workout um, with an 11.1 .1 strain. It came in via Strava. And then I can see the different zones that I have available. And then I can see key statistics at the bottom. So it's nicely laid out. I do like that a lot. Um, this was when I walked my dog Memphis. Um, it came in via Apple Watch. And then if I scroll down, it will also show you a map of where you walked. I have that hidden because um, I just have that hidden. Um, but it'll show you that as well. Uh, we'll close that, and then if I keep scrolling down, uh, you'll see things like your calories and your HRV, sleep performance, average heart rate. You can jump into any one of those and get that information, that data. Um, and then stress monitor and strain and recovery are also available. So your stress monitor is going to show um, your stress throughout the day. The moon is your sleep, and then the person there is a walk and then your uh, my cycling workout that I did if I jump into that it'll show me um, all of those metrics for the total day so it does really um, give you some detailed information at the bottom there's information about how this all works and you can jump in and look at any of this as well you could also hide this if you don't want to see it and then strain and recovery is a nice way to just monitor and see what your strain and recovery are and how they're matching up. So this shows me um, the green at the top here, the 94, 91, 80. If I follow that, that's the um, recovery. So that's my sleep uh, based off of the recovery number up at the top. If I go back down, it'll show me those uh, recoveries. And then the blue starting at the bottom, the 7.4, 6.6, and 14, those are my strain. So uh, on the weekends, I don't, I don't do as much. Um, 
workout wise and during the week you'll see that those numbers tend to kind of get closer together and then separate out on the weekends um, but that's a nice indicator if I um, scroll down that's that's about all you've got here the plus at the bottom lets you start a workout or a journal so the journal is uh, interesting uh, every time you have your uh, you, you wake up in the morning you process your basically you process the sleep that happens the night before and then when you process that it'll pop up with a journal entry um, and it can show you your journal entry that you have you can customize this as well so um, the nice part about this if you're not really a big fan of journaling which I'm I'm really not I don't I don't really go and, and do a lot of journaling um, this was even a bit much for me to come in and and fill this out every morning but the nice part is that it keeps your the last journal you did it'll keep those settings in there so um, if you checked off that you, you snacked in between meals the next morning it's all it's checked off so you if you kind of repeat your kind of creature of habit like I am a little bit it'll check that off and then if you click on the gear at the top right you can customize your journal so if there are certain things you just never do like um, like medications you, you maybe never take uh, anxiety artificial light bloating things like that um, there's a, a, an extensive list of everything you can add in here you can add these in and customize your journal and you can take them out um, so that's a nice feature that you have available as well you can um, have that show up and not show up and so it makes journaling a little easier um, to track that so it's it's kind of a nice feature as well um, that's available and that's pretty much the the main app itself you can jump in between overview sleep recovery and strain and you can look at uh, specifics for sleep so you can see the amount of sleep you have the sleep that you needed uh, if I scroll down it'll show you your time in bed consistency and then sleep performance if I go in there it'll show all that and there's always these articles or videos that help you understand and learn more about your things like sleep or recovery um, so scrolling down just so you can see everything that's within sleep and then recovery your recovery percentage and everything involved there and the same thing goes with strain um, you can see your strain number and how you, you got that number and the times you exercised and what your average heart rate was all of that is available as well um, so it's really a, a nice a nice app it's designed well um, I, I liked using it I wasn't a big fan of the journaling even though they do make it easy to journal so depending on how you are with that uh, you may or may not like that um, there are other features as well within the app like coaching and they do um, they've tapped into AI so you can ask an AI coach and get some insights there there's a community as well with um, people that you can talk to and 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 teams you can create if you're you're most more social with your workouts um, you can join like a road cyclist group and a team there and then under more you have the ability to unlock some months of membership with uh, with free months if you refer a friend uh, you can jump into your account app settings and there's information there as well okay so we covered the whoop we covered the bands and the uh, the couple of bands that were available um, we covered the software pretty extensively and uh, I guess we're, we're kind of at a point where would I actually use this product or not and as much as I like it uh, I, I actually would not use it uh, just having the band on my wrist all the time was a little bit of a distraction I mean I've got my Apple watch on my left and then the whoop on my right and it just I, I always felt it maybe if I uh, had given it more time I would I, I wouldn't have felt it more um, and I would have just gotten used to it but I am also testing a couple of other fitness devices uh, more so rings that seem to kind of blend in a little bit more 
Um, so at the end of the day, as much as I loved the interface and uh, I liked that you could customize the Whoop with the different bands, I liked um, how the, the software and the UI in the software and I loved being able to use it as my heart rate monitor on Zwift. Um, at the end of the day, I just felt it too much and, and I ended up returning it. Um, if you don't have an Apple Watch or you're looking to just constantly have a fitness monitor, which the battery pack on it that you can just keep charging on is, is great. That's a great idea. So you never have to take the Whoop off. You just keep it on and you, you keep charging it as you go about your day. Um, that's a really nice feature that other fitness trackers don't have. So um, that's my end of the review. Um, I'm still on my journey to find the perfect fitness tracker for me at this time. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please consider liking it and subscribing. I'm going to be putting out more videos in the future, um, and I hope to, to put them out regularly. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot.